Beach. Turning now to the homeless crisis, the governor just announced almost $700 million in funding to convert more apartment buildings and vacant hotels into housing for the homeless. It's part of Project Home Key and KCAL 9's Tom Waite live in Mid City tonight with more on the governor's announcement, Tom. Good evening to you, Leslie. Well, the announcement came at the apartment building just behind me here. It's one of the buildings that HomeKey purchased and converted into a new home for people who don't have homes right now. Well, there's so much hope and optimism when these announcements come, but the question always becomes, is it enough? The old mattress move, never easy. Governor Gavin Newsom with volunteers helping set up a new Project Home Key apartment. The space will become a home for someone living on the streets. The governor joined L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti and candidate for L.A. Mayor Congresswoman Karen Bass to showcase the space. We were actually able to use $846 million of federal money, not a, a dollar of state money, drew down $846 million, and in six months we were able to procure, bring into a portfolio over six thousand housing units. Unprecedented. Why can't we buy more buildings and get people off the streets today? Get buildings where we can help people ever avoid hitting the streets. That's where Project Home Key was born. Project Home Key uses funding to convert buildings like this or motels and hotels into interim or permanent housing for the homeless. LA County has acquired two dozen properties for this purpose, which is more than 1,500 units of housing. But as even the governor acknowledges, it's not nearly enough. I see what you see. It's a dynamics, not static number. And there's no having made it. You don't start with 10 people and you get 10 units and then you solve the problem. State Republicans blasted the latest funding announcement. Northern California Assemblyman Kevin Kiley tweeted, Gavin Newsom has now increased homelessness spending to 28 times what it was when he took office. And he has absolutely nothing to show for it. I liked uh, Governor Newsom's transparency. That That's President and CEO of the Union Rescue Mission on Skid Row, Andy Bales, who says Home Key represents progress. But he says transitional housing still needs to be a priority, like the program Project Room Key which is being phased out that provided temporary shelter for the unhoused. The thing we should have done is continued the project room key until we started the project home key. And the one thing that I've learned and I think we've learned from project room key, recovery and case management should have been part of it, not just putting someone under a roof because there are all kinds of problems with overdose and drug addiction. Governor Newsom was also asked about his veto Monday of a bill that would have allowed supervised drug injection sites. Members of the governor's own party accused him of putting his political ambitions ahead of public safety. The governor shot back. I was leading the charge doing, you know, needle exchange, ex um, emergency orders as a county board of supervisors. I did the first mobile methadone van in the United States history. Please, I, I, spare me, Drug Policy Alliance, we're close. Uh, but one thing that wasn't close, and that was the comprehensive strategy and plan to make sure that we're doing this right. Also looming is the official L.A. County homeless count, which should be released in the next few weeks. Reporting live in Mid-City, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News.